Hey guys, Alex here, and we're here with another episode of Boom Beach. This is Let's Play number three, and as you can probably already tell by the title, we just got to headquarters level six, and it's pretty cool so far. So you can see we got the cannon building over there in the left-hand corner, and we got some new um, landing craft. Ah, I stuttered right there. Um, and we got a bunch of new stuff. We actually have a new currency also. I'm kind of comparing this to Dark Elixir a little bit. It's the stone. Uh, it's not as hard to get, but it it's pretty cool because it actually costs you two different types of currencies now to upgrade. So if I want to actually, for example, the cannon, it costs me a certain amount of wood and stone to upgrade. And if I want to upgrade my headquarters again, I have to use both currencies, which is actually a pretty um, neat way of doing this. So, I mean, I... I think it's pretty unique. And you can see right here, we're just going to drop healing spell uh, for protection so we can get deeper into the base. And we're going to want to drop another one right here just so they don't die off from that mortar because that will kill the riflemen. And we're just going to try and direct them to take out the last defense. You can see we're gonna, going right for the mortar. And then the machine gun's really nothing after. And we have a lot more troops now. We, um... We have eight more riflemen than we had last time because I just recently got the landing craft, the new one, up to level four. So now we have a lot more troops that we can use in battle. And that's really helpful, actually, more than I actually expected it to be helpful. It really helps you um, with tougher bases, like big bases, so you can get through with more troops. So if they die off, you still got more behind you. So that really helps out a lot. And you can see we're just going to take the headquarters of this base right here. Fairly easy raid. It takes some skill, I guess. <laughs> and we're about to take out the headquarters. And you can see actually in the rewards, you can see we get some stone. So you can see, yeah, you can see a stone flying out too. I think we actually got two medals for this, so that's pretty cool. You can see the stone right there. And here we're, um, we're try attempting to steal back our resource base. Dilly underscore underscore nine nines a resource. Um, we're attempting to steal that back, so it shouldn't be too hard. We just took out two of his defenses, and now we're gonna go straight for the machine gun, so we don't have to care like we don't really have to care about it later. And we're gonna drop the heal spell. So the ah oh crap, what do they call what what is that called? That the thing I hate. It's I can't remember the name of it. Please somebody tell me the name of it. Um, yeah, I don't, why can't I remember? No, I'm, I have no idea right now. But you can see, as we used the heal spell, we basically lost no troops. Uh, I was going to fire that missile, or gun strike at the town, uh, not town hall, headquarters. I, I am way out of it today. Uh, there you go, there's our loot. Victory, and we now have another resource base. We actually only lost one Zuka. So here's a pretty tricky base. It's actually a very poor base design. He's got um, his town hall is very exposed, only protected by a few defenses. So these defenses up in the front really don't matter. His two cannons, which should do a lot of damage, don't matter too much. Also, his I think he has all of his archer towers. Not all oh my, yeah, <laughs> I think he has all of his sniper towers. I'm still getting used to this. I should be used to it in a few more videos, so don't worry. I'll start getting the terms right. And we actually are starting to level up quite a bit. Um, taking this guy down because he doesn't have too many defenses up here. We just need to direct the troops because they're kind of stupid when you're not directing them all the time. And, yeah, we got, I kind of wanted to drop a healing spell right there because I thought the riflemen were going to die off from those little mines. Um, so that protected it. And now they're just going to go ahead and attack that headquarters. I'm going to speed it up here in a few minutes, uh, a few seconds. <laughs> why, why, did I, why would I say minutes? Whatever. In a, in a few seconds, because it's fairly slow taking out the town, the headquarters. Oh, my. I, I'm really frustrated today. I keep relating this to Clash, but I, I'll get the hang of it. It's just so um, tricky make, uh, playing both. Like, it, it's, it's tricky. Because they're so similar, yet they're so different. Just the similarities is what gets you. I actually like this because it's got so many more defenses. It's actually really cool how many defenses 
You can see right there, there's our victory. And, yeah, we just got a lot of, a lot of loot. Actually, that was a lot of loot. And we got some medals. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also, um, I kept, many, kept meaning to say this in my videos. Please give this video, I mean, please make sure you're watching this video in HD. Because I, I went um, on YouTube and I was watching one of my videos the other day. And I noticed it wasn't in HD automatically. I had to switch it. And it looks so much better in HD. So just watch it in HD. So yeah, give it a thumbs up and comment. Um, if you have any feedback for me if um, on how to improve my videos, what you guys want to see. We could do like cool series or something. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.